Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we met a very annoying fish thing, and we traveled with another annoying fish thing, but now we're going on our own, supposedly in search of Undyne. Oh, whenever we get the ominous phase, that means she's coming. Okay. Uh, just avoid the- this is a lot easier than the other one, that's for sure. It tells me it's gonna get harder, though. Okay, just keep on dodging. This is super easy. Okay, okay. Think you're challenged or anything like that? Yeah, right. Okay, that go, 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 go. And go, and go. Oh jeez, okay, that was a bit clutch. Oh jeez, that was also clutch. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry, I won't call you pitiful anymore. Oh, that's the challenge. Where the fruit am I supposed to go? I thought I was just going the right way this entire time, but no. There are multiple branching paths. Where exactly do they want me to go? Oh god, I probably shouldn't be going this way, but I'm doing it anyway. That sort of rhyme, but I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Uh, dead end. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. It is getting faster, I think. This is the right way, then? Oh god, run! Oh god, oh jeez. Oh man. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing else to say. I just want to run. Surprise, I made- oh god. Uh, just keep going, keep going. Oh god. Music stopped. Dead end? Thought so, yep. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. This could only end poorly. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Human, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Back on another pile of flowers like at the beginning of the game. We're in water? Is something moving there? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Very identical piles of garbage. Just garbage. <laughs> and another save point. Quite a few brands you recognize, and then... This one is just garbage. Just garbage. Waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Oceanically, a piece of trash will flow through. And fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Guess we're gonna keep going. Bicycle? Rest your head on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Glad we actually got to hear the horn. Uh, more garbage, more garbage. This is a beat up desktop computer, the inside is empty. What does this all mean, though? It's a cooler, has no brand, shows a sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Sure. You got the astronaut food. A trash heap. That's the dummy from before. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Toriel's dummy. I wish she was here right now. We should have listened to her. Oh, God! Run, 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 run! Ha 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 Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until... You came along! 
When you talk to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said! Horrible! Shocking! Unbelievable! It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human! I'll scare your soul out of your body! Mad dummy blocks the way. It's actually moving, which is creepy. Uh, we could talk to it. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Feudal, feudal, feudal. Oh god. What's it gonna do? Ah, dummy balls! Oh jeez. What the fruit? So, is it the same dummy? This. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming that magic attack. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. Uh, I don't even have any magic though. Uh, talk again. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of conversation. No one's happy with this. I'll defeat you and take this. Uh, I know that was like a hint of some kind, but I don't have any magic attacks. Could I have had magic attacks at this point? I don't know. And yeah, he actually does get, but he doesn't lose HP because of it. Doing armless ska dance. Sure. Uh, what if I check it? Mad dummy. Attack 30. Defense. Yes. <laughs> because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. I wonder, this probably would be different if I hadn't fought Toriel's training dummy properly. Uh, I wonder what would have changed though. Mad dummy glares into a mirror. Oh wait, no, that's it. I get it. Wait! Oh god, I killed it? Foolish, foolish, foolish. Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorps incorporable, you dummy. Wait, is that dummy? So yeah, we're supposed to have just hit him with his own attacks. That's the ticket. I get it now, but... Glares into a mirror, then turns you with the same expression. Talk to it. Talk to the dummy. See much for conversation. I was happy with this. So that's what we're supposed to do, because he's using magic attacks on us, I think. And, like, it's the only thing that looks like he's actually taking damage, but he doesn't lose HP when he does it. Uh, talk, talk to the dummy. See much for conversation. No one's happy with this. Then everything I want will be mine. Just dance around. Could I redirect the attacks by any chance? Possibly, by the way I'm dodging. It's getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Uh, talk, nothing. Oh yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Nothing. That was a red attack. It's probably gonna be very scary. Uh, let's see. What was their name again? You don't remember your own cousin's name? Oh jeez. Yeah, I kind of had to direct the attacks into him. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just avoid the attacks, avoid the attacks, avoid the attacks. And yeah, cool. I'm understanding the basic concept. Getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Yeah, we get it, we get it. Feeble, feeble, feeble. It's the Feeble Protection Agency. Or something like that. There's a little bit of damage, I think. Get cotton. There's nothing else I can do, though. I just feel like nothing's happening. That was just taking forever. I like the music, though. It sounds pretty cool. Hey, guys! Oh, Jesus. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired. You're all being replaced. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Me mechanical words fill the room. What? Uh, talk to him. Doesn't want to talk. Dummy bots, magic missile. He is weak to magic attacks. Let's get him. No, 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 no. Oh, I just had to dodge a little bit more. God darn it. Okay, let's try it again. Dummy bots, try again. Avoid the missiles. Avoid the missiles. Come on. Oh, this is kind of, actually kind of difficult. I do appreciate, like, the difference. It is a... Because I've never actually been a fan of tacti tactical RPGs just because, like, I don't like the... Jesus Christ. Oh, God! I'm gonna need to heal or something. Uh, where's that nice cream? Ew, looking nice today. Recover 15 HP. Dummy bot's final attack. 
I'll get back to what I was saying in a second. I'm just really nervous right now. Oh god, this is bad. Wow, okay. No way, these guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares, who cares, who cares? I don't need friends. Oh god, no. I've got knives, oh my god. I thought he was gonna hurt himself or something like that, but you know, he's like, I don't need friends, I got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and you can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me forever! Forever. Forever. Oh! What the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. <gasps> you! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. No, it's okay. You helped me out. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. So as I was trying to say, when I'm trying to think about it, I'm not a fan of tact tactical RPGs because it just feels awkward to me. The fact that I need to direct myself on the battlefield and make sure I don't get hit by a enemies that are attacking me normally like in an adventure game like Zelda but then I'm stuck at a little control pad or like a control terminal like Pokemon or something and I need to manage those and then have the attack come up on the screen so that's why I'm never able to get into games like Xenoblade or Chrono Trigger or something like that because just it doesn't work for me but this is just I don't know it's a bit easier but also challenging and interesting that you could it's a lot of variety but you get to learn it uh over time and stuff it's pretty cool Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see, or in case you don't. Feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Save the game, and head on up to the ghosty's house. Okay. It's locked. It's unlocked. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much. But make yourself at home. I like the ghosty. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. Play it. You play the CD. You change the music. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. Gula Day music. Holiday music. Gula Day. Uh, fly for a bake sale on it. Uh, can we actually use it though? Nope. Uh, turn off. Yes. CD stops moving. <laughs> oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh goody! Holographic meatloaf again! Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay, follow my lead. <laughs> Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. And that's the end of the game. I'm very conflicted. This game is just really- Oh, hello, star screen. I guess this will be my time of self-reflection. I know that like as soon as I touch the controller, it's gonna wake up or something. Or it's just gonna stop, it's gonna clip away. I like how even the borders disappear. Like, the person who designed the stinking frame for the black bars, they kept in mind like the ambient stuff, so 
it got rid of the borders and just increases the experience and immersion by getting rid of the boards and stuff. That's sort of the design thing that I went with the finale of Earthbound. I can't really say without spoiling too much, but you'll know what I mean if you actually saw it. It's just all those minor details that didn't really need to be done, but they did it anyway, and I really like it and appreciate it. It's really cool. So, what else to do? I'm tempted to like end the episode off here, but... Huh. I wonder if there's some sort of reward for just doing something. For waiting super long. Uh, if there is, I guess I'm just never going to find it, because I give up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Computer's internet browser is opened to a music sharing forum. I guess that's it. Okay, it was nice seeing you, ghosty. Hope to see you again someday. Uh, what happens if we go around here? That's kind of an expansive area. Oh, hey, the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Oh, no. I have a feeling I'll save the game and see, uh, because I'm afraid if I accept it. Oh, that looks like Undyne's house. Uh, yeah, even though she was covered up and stuff, I, I know what the figure looks like, so I know that's Undyne's design. Interesting. What the fruit? <laughs> North, Block, Acres, East, Hotland, Unknown, Temi, Village? What? I'm visiting Waterfall from the city! Synchrona Synchrona City? My neighbor's daughter looks uh, about your age. What? Her name is Susie. I feel like you two should be friends. You have a neighbor's blessing! Okay. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean... Welcome to my book, book, Bluke. Welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Oh, is Toriel the main customer? Oh, I feel bad. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach for the end, stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snail, it's Sam Boyle. I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is, co is counting dollar bills. What? Uh, a snail race, really? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Sure, why not? Okay, press X repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Come on, snail! Why are you not moving at all? He's on fire. My snail is on fire. This is really awkward. Race end! Oh, looks like you encourage your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, it's called Thunder Snail. Okay, just don't give it too much encouragement. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, the encouragement just makes it slower. I wonder if I can make the snail, like, blow up or something. Okay, new plan. Don't encourage the snail at all. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. I give up. Jeez. Oh, okay, snail race. It's a joke. I just lost 30G because why the heck not? Uh, so that's it over here. To the right, there is... Oh, God, so much progress. Do I want to go into Undyne's house? No, but I'm going to try it anyway because I don't know how to make good decisions. What? 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 It's a living. It's a living. Okay. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Good. So, should that be it for now? I'm just going to save real quick here and see. If this takes me to the other side and doesn't... I'm afraid that if I go to the other side, the duck won't be on the other side with me. It'll just go back over here. 
So it's a one-way ticket. I can't go back and forth. Survey says... It literally just carries me by the head, my god. Well, this is an experience. I like how the human's just like completely unamused by everything. Okay, cool, so we could go back. Well, I think this will be a good note to end on. We got like through supposedly this next area. We fought, we sort of fought Undyne, fell down a hole, fought a dummy, uh, hung out with the ghosty a little bit, and uh, we are making good progress, maybe possibly. Sorry, I don't know, I feel like this LP is gonna be super boring. Maybe I won't be doing, I don't know, I'm just, I was expecting this LP to be so much more, and I was expecting this game to be so much more, so maybe I just have really high expectations for how everything's gonna turn out, and I'm not having them met, but I don't really know. I guess we're just gonna have to keep on playing and see where it takes us. I think a good idea is to just take breaks. I've recorded 10 episodes of Undertale in a row, and maybe it's even split up into more parts, I don't know. Um, maybe I should just take it one step at a time, record when I'm ready to do it when I'm in the mood, not just thinking that I need to record more and more and more now, 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 now. Just take breaks, think of things to talk about, get ready, get prepared, and stay determined, I guess, as the game tells me to do. But yeah, I'm having fun, and I'll continue to play it, but for now, let's just take a bit of a break. Next time on Undertale, we are headed to Waterfall, I think. Maybe, possibly. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.